Recently I've been introduced to the world of booktube and now that I'm here I can't imagine ever leaving. I probably would classify myself as a very very casual reader but in the last year I've just had this whole new appreciation for books. Basically I thought it would be fun to film a little reading week in my life and see just how much I realistically read in a week. Good morning! It is Monday morning. I thought this week, as long as kind of like making it a bit of a weekly vlog of what I get up to, making it focused on what I'm reading. Just rolled out of bed. I did do my skincare, so I feel like that's making me look a bit fresher, but I feel like my eyes are still stinging. <laughs> but I have a Pilates class at 9.30 this morning. So beforehand, because it's kind of like a later class, I thought I would get some reading done. Normally I wake up, read for like half an hour in bed. Sometimes I'll come downstairs and read on the couch or outside in the sun if it's a nice day, which it is today. So I think that's what I'm going to do. First book I'm reading this week is Red. Red, white and royal blue. I started it a couple of days ago on Saturday and it's now Monday obviously. I'm up to page 166. I'm gonna sit here in the sun and try and get a bit done this morning. I do have quite a bit of work to do today so I'm hoping to get a decent chunk done in the morning and then a decent chunk done tonight as well. I do want to challenge myself this week with reading. Just in the sense of like instead of picking up my phone maybe if I've got like an extra 15 minutes pick up a book instead and get some reading done. Obviously this video is like what I realistically read in a week but I do want to challenge myself just that a little bit more. Sometimes it depends though, like sometimes I get in a heavy reading phase where I will just read every spare second I have and then I go through phases where like maybe I'll just read for like 20-30 minutes before bed every night. I have set myself a reading challenge this year on Goodreads of reading 50 books this year and I'm currently I think up to 27 books. So Goodreads is saying I'm five books behind schedule. So I want to use this week to try and get a few books read so I can slowly get myself up to being where I should be up to for my reading challenge. So without further Further ado, I'm gonna get back into this. Sit in the sun. I'm excited. I would love to get this done tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. That's quite a lot of pages to read. But I want to challenge myself this week, so I would love. I don't know if this is incredibly ambitious of me, but I would love to try and finish three books this week. Let's get started. <laughs> Tonight we are heading over to Sam's family's house for dinner. They have a new puppy, so I'm meeting the new puppy. Brought my book to get some reading done before we get there. And I'm over halfway of this book now, which is exciting. It's quite a long book, especially for a romance. Like I feel like anything over 300 ish pages in a romance is quite a long one and this one's like 430 pages it's about to arrive in the next couple minutes and i've gotten up to page 230 i started on page 166 this morning and yet yeah, and now up to 230 so what's that 230 minus 166 let's work it's it out 70 something 64 64 pages so far today i'll definitely try and do a bit more reading tonight when we get home before bed love to get to 100 pages read today i don't know why like no reason other than the fact that i would just love to in my mind check off 100 pages today i've come in for a matching track set which i'm very happy about look at that gold now a glow hit that let's go How's your hot chocolate? That was good. I had hot chocolate on the way. Are you excited to meet the new puppy? Oh yeah, she's cute. My name's Ava. My name's Ava, and she's a little Frenchie. French bulldog. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is now Tuesday, 3.47 p.m. Look where I am at, <laughs> once <Right>. again, <laughs> my second home. George, Rach and I, I just call you George. That's, sometimes I just chuck in a George and it feels wrong every time. Wrong? Like, that's just not what I call you. Yeah. But also saying G what? in real life doesn't mean. Sometimes in sentences it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm like, G. G, my G. <laughs> George. <laughs> Rachel. George Richards, Rachel Catherine. <laughs> George, Rachel and I are having a sleepover tonight, a little midweek sleepover, if you will. My favorite thing to do as an adult. We're having a beach day tomorrow. We've been wanting to have a beach day where we just like set up at the beach all day, bring our books for ages. But I've done a bit of reading today and I wanted to update you. I also realized I didn't end up telling you how many pages I read yesterday. I ended up reading 102 pages yesterday. 
which I'm very happy about. Thank you. Hi, reader. Yeah, what can I say? Oh, I got up to page 288 yesterday, and now I'm up to 356. So that means I've got like, I want to say 80 or 90 pages left of the book, and I am itching to read it. I had like an hour and a half drive here, and the whole time I just wanted to read the book so bad. So George is doing some work. Yeah. I thought I would try and get a bit more done. I'd love to just smash through this last like 80, 90 pages now. Honestly, I feel like the end is always easy to do because it's like so much is happening and I've just gotten to a the part that I feel like it's been like building to this whole time. I also realized I never actually explained what this book is about. I'm so bad at describing books, I feel. The son of the president of the United States and then the prince of England. They've had some bad experiences together. So they're almost, almost like enemies or they just like don't like each other. And then basically they have to like force a friendship to like show that you know, there's good communications between both countries, essentially, because it, like, looks good. Blo <laughs> Fuck, you know. It just looks good for both parties. There's kind of, like, a fake... Uh, like enemies to lovers, bit of, like, fake friendship. Obviously, it's a romance as well, so it does turn into something as you would probably suspect. Um, but it's just so, so good. I'm enjoying it so much so far. I was saying to Georgia before, it feels like, I think it's feeling between like a four to a four and a half star read. I feel like the politics makes a little bit drag, but like makes part of the book drag a little bit. But I think just cause I've been like almost binging it, it feels like a, it's been a quick read. Yeah, that's kind of like the general gist of the book. I feel like I'm not good at explaining books at all, but I hope that kind of made you intrigued to read it because it's a very good book. There's been so many times where I've been like, giggling because of like things that they say to each other and there's like emails and texts. I love texts and emails in books. I'm gonna try and smash this last like 80 pages. Something bad's happened. This is like what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna try and finish this now. I'm very excited. So excited to finish it! <laughs> and then I'm gonna watch the movie, which I'm so excited about. And also Georgia read it last week. So yeah. it's fresh in your mind. Like, We've been chatting about it. I know, I love telling about books when like you're both so like fresh. Is the movie a lot different? It's not a lot different, but I think they just like had to make it way shorter. Okay. So there's like a lot cut out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like almost feels like insta lovey because because they cut out so much. Yeah, but like you kind of just have to. Yeah. Like, how you like including all the emails? So and, like, true. You know? I feel like it has felt quite realistic though. Like the book is kind of like over almost a year. So it like doesn't feel rushed. You know what I'm saying? Because one of my biggest pet peeves in books, which I just read one, they were together for three days and then they were in love. See? Get out. Anyway, basically, I'm really enjoying the book. The only reason it's not a five star is because, well, sometimes I just feel like you like feel that five star feeling. And I feel like it's like, oh, it's so close. Obviously, like 4.5 is so close. I mean, I haven't even finished it yet. So maybe the ending will really bump it up. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking and actually start reading. <sighs> I'm so excited. potentially like one of my favorite things. it's so fun one of my favorite things i love stuff like this because it's not super obvious but if people have read it they get it yeah if you know you know, if you know, you know. oh surely we need a sticker oh absolutely i just finished it i thought i had like quite a bit left but turns out there's like quite a bit of acknowledgements and then like a, a snippet of casey mcquiston mcquiston's next book that last like 50 pages was a wild ride. You were gasping heat. I was gasping. I was just like so stressed. And then I was like, because it was it was all too happy and I was like, something else is going to go wrong. I was also so scared because that's probably one of the first books I personally recommended you that you've read. Yeah. And I was a bit scared. <laughs> you really just sold me on it. Like watching you read it last week, I was like, I need to. Yeah, it wasn't even me just telling you about it. It was me like, you going, oh. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You physically saw me giggling and kicking yeah, my feet. And yeah. Like, well, I, need to read. I also do feel like even though you've never specifically given me a book recommendation, we do usually like similar books. Yeah. Or like if you like a book, I'll usually like it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like I'll like a book and you won't if it's a bit too cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! First book of the week. Done. That's so fun. I wonder how many pages that is today that I've read so far. So many. Let's let's work it out. <laughs> let's get the calculator out. What did I say? I started on 288 this morning. Whoa. 418. Let's work this out. 130. You just worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> In my head. I literally was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so 130 pages. That's a big book to read in four, three, four days. Wow. I can't wait to check it off my Goodreads. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll only be four books behind schedule. <laughs> I have also brought with me The Hawthorne Legacy, which I started last... I started Friday and I got like that much of the way through and then I started this and couldn't put it down. So I just like kind of continue with that. I'm going to start this up. I think I need a bit of like a reading break. I'm going to go get dinner. Maybe watch a movie. Are we watching Red, White and Royal? I'm so excited to watch it and like compare. I've got the picture of like the movie book cover in my head. So I like was picturing them, but I think everyone else I kind of made up. So it's going to be interesting to see what they all look like. But first food. I'm so hungry. So hungry. Your brother, Prince Henry. Ah! I really feel like I've just been in his head. <laughs> right? I'm like, why do I already feel a connection to him? <laughs> so who's that? Nora. Oh. <laughs> I love him. Okay, you think I can't do it. Christ, you were sleepy as a cat. Yes, I get it, Winnie. Sorry. to you yet today but I wanted to give you a reading update. Before bed last night I picked this book back up which had already read maybe a hundred or so pages. The reading I did before bed I ended up reading in total 60 pages of this book last night so that with the 130 pages that I finished of the other book I read a total of 190 pages yesterday which I'm very impressed with. I think you always read a bit more on the days that you're finishing books because like the ending is always like page turning and so hard to put down but I realize I also haven't given you a quick synopsis on what this book is about. This is the second book in the Inheritance Games series, I think you would call it. I was saying this in my last vlog, but I read the last book at the beginning of last year, so it's been a while since I picked this series up. I saw it in Big W the other day, and I thought, this is the perfect time to pick it up. Like, it's a quick, easy read. I kind of wanted a, an in-between read, if that makes sense. The first book is called The Inheritance Games, and it's basically about a girl who is just like your very average girl, working a normal job, like completely normal life, and then all of a sudden she inherits from this stranger billions and billions of dollars, and she becomes like a billionaire overnight has to move into this big mansion which the Hawthorne family lives in there's four brothers and the whole first book is almost like working out why she got the money because she like didn't have any sort of reason to get all of this money from this stranger who's just died obviously I don't want to give away anything that happens in the first book but essentially like you find out a lot in that first book but then there's so much more still left to learn because there's so many like riddles and games in these books which was really really fun to read it's kind of like you're working out the riddles and the games with them and obviously there's just like a lot that happens when you inherit billions and billions of dollars overnight so there's just like mystery and there's like murders and a bit of romance i also mentioned this in my last vlog but the chapters are literally like two or three pages long and it's making me read this book so fast i just keep finishing a chapter and then i'm like well might as well just read like two more pages because most chapters end on like almost a bit of a cliffhanger i got to 180 pages in last night so that's what obviously what i started on this morning and right now I'm up to page 289. So that's over 100 pages today. Obviously most days I don't go to the beach and read all day. So today was a bit of an anomaly and I don't normally get that much time to read. But it was so great. We ended up staying at the beach till about like, I don't even know, like 2, 3-ish. Started to get a little bit overcast. But swam and lay in the sun and chatted and all read our books for ages. Which was beautiful. It's probably my favorite place to read is by the beach. I was kind of hoping that I could finish this today but George and I are actually about to go off and see Mamma Mia the musical which I'm so excited about. We booked it ages ago and so it kind of just like came out really quickly. So we've had showers, gotten ready and I had that like post beach day shower. It made me feel like it was summer but yeah I'm so excited. Hopefully if we're not too tired when we get home I can do a bit more reading. I don't think I'll finish it today. 
you never know but like 60 pages to go so maybe we're really like getting to the the crux of the story if you will so i can't stop thinking about it it's thursday and it is 16 past no, I haven't done much reading today. I did end up doing a little bit of reading after we got home from Mamma Mia last night before bed. I had like 20 pages left of the Hawthorne Legacy to go and I was like falling asleep. So I just popped it down and then finished it this morning. So I think I've read like 20 pages today. 352 minus 336. I should be able to work that out. Okay, I've read 16 pages today. But I'm so tired. I've just been sitting here getting some work done. But yeah, I really just haven't picked up any book today because it has just been a little bit more of a busier day. I've got myself a heat pack because I haven't got my period, but I'm just feeling pre-period crampy and the heat pack is really helping, but I'm going to head up to bed. I do want to start a new book before bed. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done because I am quite tired, but I'm going to have a shower, get cozy in bed, do a bit of reading until I like physically can't keep my eyes open. The two books that I am feeling like reading next are... The Bodyguard by Catherine Center and Throne of Glass by, of course, Sarah J. Mass. They're obviously both very different kind of books. This is a fantasy eight book series and this is a fun silly little romance. But I personally love having two books going at once when they're so different because I don't get them like mixed up and it's kind of nice like because then if I'm not in the mood for a fantasy say, but it's the only book I'm reading instead of just like not picking up a book, I'll just reach for a romance, vice versa. So I'm going to start both of these. I actually don't think my brain could wrap itself around a new fantasy world tonight. So I'm going to put that aside till tomorrow. Tomorrow, and I'm going to start The Bodyguard, which I actually have no idea what it's about, so I can't even really give you a bit of a synopsis. I almost don't even want to read the back. I, saw, I read the first sentence, and I kind of just want to go into it completely blind. From the front cover, it says, she's got his back, he's got her heart, and that's all I really want to know about it. Maybe once I've started the book, I can kind of give you a little bit more details on it, but I really just want to go in blind. It's under 300 pages, and it seems like a really cute little romance, so I'm very excited to start it, and it feels like a good little refresher before starting the world that is Throne of Glass. Hi, I'm drinking a coffee at 3 p.m. and I'm scared I'm gonna regret it. I was just really craving one. I wanted to chat. I wanted to give you obviously a book update because I am 55 pages in. But first, I just got a parcel. This isn't related to this video at all. This parcel has nothing to do with books, but I just wanted to open it with you all because I'm so excited. I ordered this yesterday. It's already arrived. I'm so shocked. There are a pair of shoes that I've wanted for so long and they were sold out everywhere. So they've been on my wish list for months ever since I came back from our trip. It was one of my friends in London, Soap, was obsessed with them and she couldn't get her hands on them either. So we would always just send each other photos of people that we could see wearing them. Anyway, fast forward to last night. Soap messages me saying that they've been restocked and she was like, I just ordered them. And I was like, I'll be ordering them too. That's my washing machine. Isn't that just the cutest shoe you've ever seen? The color? I feel like you just do so many amazing outfits with this color shoe. Even just like denim, these, white shirt. I'm obsessed. Oh, they also come with blue laces. <laughs> I can't believe I actually have them. They came so quick. I've really just been like wanting to just be a bit more fun with my shoes and not just wear just white sneakers with every single outfit. And this is so much fun. I literally made a like PowerPoint presentation on outfits that I could put together with these shoes. I'll show you. I'm going on a very exciting work trip this month. And so I was kind of like putting together a bit of kind of just like an outfit and mood board for the trip. But I want to pack just like general outfits. <laughs> Look, it's not anything amazing or crazy at all, but I put like all of the things I plan to take on the first page and then I've been like putting together some outfits so I know what I'm packing. I've paired these shoes with literally like every single outfit. I also did this. Do you remember this dress that I bought in London? I haven't had a chance to wear it yet and I think these shoes with it will go perfectly as a little like fun sneaker and dress moment. I'm really clearly feeling like blue. <laughs> they are just so beautiful. Anyway, that's my most recent purchase. I put myself on a little bit of like a spending ban in terms of clothes and things that I really don't need. But once these came back in stock, because I've wanted them for so long and I was so scared they were going to sell out, <laughs> I decided that I could treat myself to these. But now I'm back in my spending ban. Also, how cute is this Gymshark crew? I love this color. It's like I mean, it's baby pink, but I even feel like it has like a hint of lilac in it. I love it. And it just fits perfect. It's like the perfect balloony fit. Do you know what I mean? It has a white Gymshark logo there that's like so subtle. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. On the back 
has some writing. But I'm very picky with my crew necks and this has my tick of approval. This is so small, so they definitely come already very oversized. I just love it. I'll try and remember to link it below. Book update. I'm going to take a seat. I haven't done a whole lot of reading today, honestly, but I did a bit this morning and now I feel like I actually know what this story is about so I can talk a bit more about it. I also feel like it's a good time for me to explain the plot or explain the book because I don't know anything. So I can't say anything that will spoil it in any way. Basically, it's about this girl. Oh, I'm going to move that. She works in this pretty high up kind of like protective services. I want to say and is essentially like bodyguards for you know really rich people or famous people and she gets the job of looking after this very very famous actor Jack's like team hire him a bodyguard he's in his hometown looking after his mum and he doesn't want anyone else knowing that he has a bodyguard enter fake dating trope and when fake dating is done well I am obsessed with it but so far I'm really enjoying it the writing is like so easy to read you're in the main character's head but also she's like kind of talking to you and I really really like that style of writing where it's like um you probably guessed this you probably gasped at this does that make sense? Like you're in her head, but then she's also kind of talking to you. I don't know. I'm just really enjoying it so far. It's not giving too much cringy energy, but I'm about to head out for a bit. I need to go to the post office. I'm going to go for a walk. I have a call to jump on. And then my Friday night plans are to sit at home in comfy clothes and read, which is a great Friday night if you ask me. Good morning. I'm so aware of how quiet it is and everyone hearing me talk to a camera right now. It is Saturday morning, 8.54. I'm on the train. I am heading into the city to meet Rach this morning. We are going to get our nails done together. Mine are very outgrown, as you can see. Also go to a cafe, get some breakfast, maybe even go to some bookstores, because it sucks. Um, as a reminder, the exit buttons are located in the middle of the door. And look what I've brought with me. I'm going to a really like cozy cafe and it's kind of like an overcast colder day as well. So I bought this to start. I also thought it would be good to start with Rach because then if I don't understand anything she can explain it to me. I also got my period this morning and I feel so low energy and a bit crampy but we're here. I'm dressed in the comfiest, baggiest outfit I could possibly dress myself in but I'm excited to sit in a cozy cafe on a gloomy day and have some fresh nails. I'm going to start this now though. I'm going to pop on a fantasy, ooh, fantasy playlist. I just feel like it's the perfect situation to start it. And then I can ask Rach all the questions that I have once I arrive, which is perfect. I'm just so happy right now. When I was walking to the train, my cramps were so bad and I was like, oh no, sitting on a train without my heat pack is not going to be fun, but I feel great now. Thank God for painkiller. through what I've learned so far. So she's like, they're in the mines. Yeah. She's been like a slave yeah. for like the last year. Yeah. She tried to escape once and she like almost got out, but she wanted to like apparently get killed. <laughs> the prince was like, hey girl. So he wants you to compete in this competition to like prove your worth. I want to sponsor you to be in this competition. So now she's been cleaned up and they're just leaving now. Anything else I should have picked up? Mm, that's a fair. He also was like, oh, the dogs are so good with you. Something I picked up on. <laughs> They're different sizes.
Okay, it is the end of the week, so I thought I'd give you a debrief on all of the books that I read this week and also how many pages that I ended up reading. Tell me why this feels like I read this like at least a few weeks ago now. Like this does not feel like I was reading this this time last week. I think I've decided on a 4.25 star for this book. If you're on the lookout for just a feel good, but something just like a little bit more different, I highly, highly recommend picking this one up because I loved it. It was just so fun. Then I read The Hawthorne Legacy, the second book in the Inheritance Games series, which I actually, when Rachel and I went shopping yesterday, I bought the last book in the series. So I'm very excited to start it. They're all so short and easy to just binge. If you're after a book that is just like a quick, almost like an in-between, if you're not really sure what you want to reach for, these are the perfect in-between books, I feel. I've decided I'm giving this a four stars. And I think because I love the series, like I think it's a really, really fun series, but it's like, I really enjoy the storyline and I am enjoying the book the whole time. And I'm like getting surprised. Oh, my bookmark. I enjoy all the riddles and everything thing but it's almost like I don't care a lot about the characters like you know those books that you read where you just feel such a connection to the characters and you care so much about these characters I feel like I just don't get that with this series which I feel like if I did it would easily be a five star series there's just something about the characters that I'm not like oh my gosh I'm obsessed with but also a four star read is still like a very very good read like it's above average I really still recommend this series but it doesn't hit like a five star would and I think it would if the characters like I felt a really strong connection to the characters and I like cared more do you know what I mean? Next, The Bodyguard, which is my friend group's book club book of the month. If said book club girls are watching this, skip this part because I'm giving my rating and my thoughts and we haven't had our book club night as of yet. I'm trusting you. Thank you. I actually don't know what I'm reading this book. I kind of think I need to almost sit with it for a couple of days. I enjoyed the book. It was such a quick and easy read. I think I was saying earlier on this week when I first started it, it wasn't feeling too cheesy. I feel like it did definitely pick up on the cheesiness. Not to the point where I was like, this is way too much. But I mean, it's a it's a fun little romance. Like there is going to be that to a certain extent. And I think sometimes you don't care and sometimes like you, you notice it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I did notice it through parts of this book. But am I just being too, too overwhelmed? Overly critical potentially I just like can't work out when I'm reading this book because I really enjoyed it I enjoyed the characters were they anything like crazy no but did I also love the end was it so bingeable were the chapters short yes yes and yes I feel like 3.75 is too low maybe a four watch me change my mind the more I have to think about it maybe not I don't know I did thoroughly enjoy it though I think just maybe the more I read to the more critical I'm being like if I read this a year ago I probably would have been like five stars but the more romances you read and the more things you read you like pick up on more things and you notice more things and you might become more critical do you know what I mean anyway I would definitely recommend this book to anyone <laughs> I feel like I'm sounding so critical about all of these books like none of these books I did didn't enjoy I enjoyed all of these books I think I'm just kind of in a fantasy mood right now and anything that's not a fantasy just isn't like hitting to the level that I'm kind of like expecting does that make sense for Sunday I did quite a bit of reading I finished this and then I got a good probably over halfway into Throne of Glass. I'm loving this. I just really think I'm in a fantasy mood, as I said. I'm just finding it so easy to fly through. I think I'm just so excited about this series that I just wanna like eat up all of the books as fast as I can. Eat up all the books? You know what I mean. I'm just excited to get into another big series. And like I said, I mean, for the third time, I think I'm just really feeling fantasy books right now. Obviously I'm not going to give this book a rating because I haven't finished it yet. But for Sunday, I ended up reading 330 pages, which was the highest amount of pages that I read in the whole entire week. Monday I read 102 pages, Tuesday I read 190 pages, Wednesday I read 156, Thursday 75, Friday 83, Saturday 91, and Sunday 330. So I clearly had a very chill day on Sunday. <laughs> so if we plus all of that together, I have read 1027 pages this week, which I'm honestly quite shocked about. I wonder if that's the most I've ever read in a week. I've never like plus it together before, so I don't know, but I'm really happy with that. I definitely don't do that every week. I do think because I was filming this video this week, I, as I said at the beginning of the week, wanted to challenge myself a little bit, just picking up a book any extra time I could. And also just the fact I thoroughly enjoyed all of these books as well. So it made it very easy to want to pick up books. That concludes this week. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this more reading focused video. And if you just like the book content, please let me know as well, because if not, I won't keep doing it. If so, maybe I'll just let it once in a while. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.